Okay, hurry up. Two of the Zimmerman, two for you. Glen Coco, four for you, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. And, uh, Caddy Heron. Do we have a Caddy Heron here? It's Katie. Oh, Katie, here you go. One for you. Oh. And none for Gretchen Wieners. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Steven, Salvage Creativity, and this will be my third shout-out video, but my first Q&A. Ugh, don't care about your battery percentage. So, I just asked some questions on Facebook, and see what you guys have. And the first one in a shout-out is for Taylor Davis. Now, he had to message me because he got comment blocked, and I'm sure it was from one of those stupid things where it's all like, last comment wins. So... Whatever you did, Taylor, I know it was bad. Um, shout out for James Piero. We are going to go make babies on our Totoro bed. Yep, till it's possible, you know. Um, <clears throat> Grace Goodrich, if the zombie apocalypse were to have in right meow, what are the three things you would use to survive? Um, Three things to survive and water. <laughs> um, I would want lower Croft guns. I know it's like, I think that counts as two, so I guess I would have to take that out because I wouldn't want to waste that. Um, maybe a, a, I don't know. I mean, in a zombie apocalypse, I don't think that. It would actually spread so far. I mean, I don't think. I think zombie apocalypse are over exaggerated. I think like if it was like happening in Florida, I don't think it'd go all over the U.S. I mean, I think it would be contaminated and just you know they'd get rid of it already. I mean, it would never even touch Georgia. If anything, we would just be sunk underwater. <sighs> and according to Walking Dead, if you just make a little wall, I mean, they'll never get in. Seven percent really? Just die. So I don't really think it would happen, but if there was a zombie apocalypse, I would probably choose a bow, because I'm Katniss Everdeen, um, a machine gun, because I guess I can carry it, might need it, and um, a life pack from Left 4 Dead. Heal me! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Maggie Clanny gets a shout out. I think I gave you a shout out once before, but you get another shout out. Full for you, Maggie Clanny. Um, Vicky, stick that in your juice box. Um, yeah, you get a shout out. And um, do you think you'd be a pretty girl? I think I would make a very standard normal girl. I don't think I would be a pretty girl. Um, most because of my Squidward knows whatever people decide to call it these days because this is so fucking rude. Um, yeah, I have, I've been called a girl before, not like, you're a girl or anything, like, is it a girl? Like, I guess, because of my Asians, oh, you died, computer, <laughs> you died. Uh, well, anyways, I'll just finish the question and I'll have to use my phone. So, um. Yeah, I think I'd make a normal girl because, like, I'm Asian, so it's like, I look like 60% male, 40% female. So I would make a normal looking girl. That's what my answer would be. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this Q&A from my phone. And I got so bored of, like, the normal black casing that I decided to put the sticker on the back. BMA modified. It's from a store I shop from, or whatever, online. So I was just like, I'll put this on here, and then I'll cut the holes for everything. Looks so jacked up. Whatever. <laughs> um, let's see, what else is there? Um, don't close. What are you doing? Um, shout out for Megan Herb. Herbe? Herbe? French, I don't know. Um, she also asks. Would you stop talking to someone if you found out they had cancer? Would I stop talking to someone if I found out they had cancer? I think I would talk to them more. I mean, I wouldn't talk to them about cancer. I would be talking to them about my everyday drama life. And I would probably talk to them about things they wouldn't rather be talking about. 
And I'm sure they would rather talk about cancer than the things I want to talk about. So, no, I will not stop talking to them because I need someone to talk to. <laughs> um, uh, shout out for Ryan Redemption. We are now friend friends. I'm sorry for the sound of the garage door under me right now. My stupid stepbrother decided to do that, so fuck him. Yeah. Shout out for Ryland Redemption. We're friend friends and cats equal life. Mm. Vicky, stick that in your juice box. Also asks, if you were stuck on an island, what would one thing you'd want to have with you besides a boat? Well, boat or no boat, either way, I'm going to die. I, I don't know where to go. Probably just go in a circle. But I'm sure you probably think of like, when you think of Violet Island, when, when I think of that question, you probably think of like, some parts of the Caribbean island, but all I think about is like a Spongebob island, like a little sand and then a palm tree, and that's where you are, and stuck. And now I think of a boat. <laughs> um, but... I would probably choose like a companion, you know, so I don't die alone, you know. And she also wants me to sing Gangnam Style. <laughs> um, I can speak Chinese and Japanese, but Korean is the hardest, unless it's gross generation. Um, Megan Herb also wanted me to twerk, but I already have a twerk video, so... Um... Alexander Davis. Straight hair or curly hair more attractive? I like straight hair. Now, if you're thinking of, like, curly hair like Jufro or curly hair like Nick Jonas, like, either way, I really, I really don't like curly hair. Um... Tevin Technomania, you can join my twerk team, but we are all going to WAP this week. Brent Haleman wants to know what is the meaning of life. Um, the meaning of life is to be born and reproduce and die. Like China. Are you having a boy or an abortion? <sighs> and then I just disturbed you all. Okay, well, that's great. And that's all for my question and videos. Um, oh my god, oh, I feel so sick. So, <laughs> so, obviously you can subscribe to my channel here at Salvage Creativity on YouTube. Um, you can see me on Facebook at facebook.com slash necromantics. That's with an X. I also have an Instagram. My Instagram is... Don't even know if you can see that. Yeah. That's Instagram at ghostix. Um, I have a Twitter, but I don't use that. It keeps posting, but I don't use that. Who uses Twitter anymore? Um, I have a kick. I don't have a keek. I don't use either of them anyways. Um, I have a MySpace. I'm trying to get those deleted. I had a Vampire Spreak, but I deleted that. I also deleted my Meet Me. So, yeah. Bye.